Let us see the next question. Mr. X is making investment in a mutual fund. Face value of the unit is rupees 10. Investment is made in, highlight the portion, dividend reinvestment plan. Date of making investment is January 1st, 2018. He sold investment on 31st of March, 2021. Investment made an amount of rupees 1 lakh. Details of the dividend declared by the mutual fund is as under. Rate of dividend is given. Rate of dividend is given. Rate of dividend is given. On these dates and at that point of time, NAV per unit is given. On 31st of March 2021, Mr. X redeemed his investment at the rate of NAV 50 rupees per unit. Calculate the return to Mr. X considering long term capital gain is exempt from income tax. Short term capital gain is subject to tax at the rate of 10%. Security transaction tax is 0.2%. Payable only at the time of redemption of the units. That is part of the information provided to us. Just go through the information of the question. Do not solve any of the part of the question. Just go through the question. So friends, we are going to start with a very important question in which we are going to understand how to compute the return for an investor who is making investment in dividend reinvestment plan. If at all you are making investment in dividend reinvestment plan, then what will happen? I am explaining that to you. Let me explain to you. See, it has been given to us that say we have made investment on 1st of January 2018. The amount of the investment which has been made is 1 lakh. We have been provided with the information that the investment is made in dividend reinvestment plan. Face value is provided as 10 and investment is made in dividend reinvestment plan. Details of the dividend is provided to us. Specifically, we have not been given that say what is the rate at which the investment is made. So let us make an assumption. That says the investment is made at the face value. So I'm writing NAB, it is 10. So this is the number of units allotted to you when you make investment. It is 1 lakh divided by 10 rupees per unit. So that comes to 10,000 number of units. And this is what say which you have as the balance. That is 10,000 number of units. Then information is given that say the on 31st of March 2018, the dividend was declared at the rate of 10 percentage. So 31st of March 2018, that was the date on which so the dividend was declared. The rate of dividend is provided to us as 10 percentage. Understand carefully what I am going to speak now. You are having so the balance of 10,000 number of units. Yes. Face value is 10. Yes. The rate of dividend is 10 percentage. So it is 1 lakh into 10 percentage. 10,000 rupees is the amount of the dividend which mutual fund is giving to the investor. However, the investor has given an instruction that I want to make a reinvestment of this amount. That is dividend reinvestment. Now friends, on this date, what is the NAV per unit of the mutual fund scheme? It is 20 rupees. So what will happen? This 10,000 rupees will be reinvested at the rate of 20 rupees. So use your calculator 10,000 divided by 20. The answer comes to 500. So 500 number of units will be allotted to you. And your balance will increase to 10,500. How it is 10,500? 
it is 10,000 plus 500. Next, the date of the dividend is 31st of October 2018. So, 31st of October 2018. What is the number of units that say you are holding right now? 10,500. What is the face value of your investment? 10 rupees per unit. What is the rate of dividend? Now it is 25 percentage. You can see that so the rate of dividend is 25 percentage and NAV per unit is also 25 rupees per unit. So use your calculator 10,500 into 10, 105,000 into 25 percent, it is 26250. What is NAV per unit? 25. So 26250 divided by NAV per unit is 25. So it comes to 1050 number of units. The total number of units will increase from 10,500 to 11,550. Okay, last you will get the dividend on 31st of December 2020. What is the number of units that you are holding right now? Double one, double five zero. Into 10, that is the face value of the investment. Into, what is the rate of dividend? The rate of dividend is 15 percentage. And NAV is 45. Importantly friends, on the face value of the investment, so the amount of the dividend will be calculated. Double one, double five zero into 10, into 15 percentage. 17325. What is NAV per unit? It is 45. So 17325 upon 45. So 385 number of units are allotted to you. So your balance increases to 11935 units. And the rate of dividend is 15% over here. And this is the first work note that you need to prepare in case of calculation of the return for dividend reinvestment plan. We understand that's the work note number one. Calculation of number of units. So we understand that's basically the investor will have this number of units, the date on which the investor is going to redeem the investment. Please write on this working note. So write on with paragraph. In case of dividend reinvestment plan, comma, Investor is allotted with number of units when mutual fund is declaring dividend. Full stop. In that further write down. This amount of dividend is calculated using face value of investment. And units are allotted at the rate current NAV per unit. First. 
Now friends, uh, giving explanation of the next working. The person is providing the information that the short term capital gain is subject to tax at the rate of 10 percentage. You can see that say the 31st of March 2021 is the date on which you have redeemed the investment. Minus one year, it is 31st of March 2020. Means we understand that say after this date, if at all you have been allotted with the units and you redeem it on this date, then it is subject to the capital gain tax. Okay, 18, 18 is of course say more than one year. 31st of March 20 is falling over here. I'm sorry, 31st of December is falling within this time frame. So whatever the number of units that have been allotted on this date is subject to capital gain tax. We can see that over here on this date 385 number of units were allotted at the rate of 45 rupees per unit. So working out number 2 calculation of short term capital gain tax payment in the trade down sale value of investment that is this 385 number of units ok friends multiplying with the NAV per unit is 50 So use your calculator 385 into 5015. So it is 19520. Sorry, 19250. Less purchase price. The purchase price of the investment was 17325. And difference of both of them is short term capital gain 1925. Based on that, short term capital gain tax payment it is 192.5. That is 1925 into 10 percentage. This is what we understand. Working note number three. Now, first third working note is also very simple. Calculation of time period of holding investment. So, what will happen over here? It is year two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen. 2020, 2021 and total. Okay. Number of months. We have been given that we have made investment on 1st of January 2018. So it is 12, 12, 12 and we have redeemed the investment on 31st of March 2021. So it is 3 months. So 12 into 3 is 36, 36 plus 3 that comes to 39 months. That is what we understand is the time period of holding investment. Friends over here, we are required to make the computation of the return to Mr. X. The question is silent whether it is the holding period return or it is annualized return. In that case, say we will always give the answer in the annualized return term. So we have computed the number of months for holding investment. Working note number four. And in my opinion, so this is an important working. That is calculation of income. How we can make the computation of income? Let us understand. It is the redemption value of investment. We can see that so the investor is holding 
this number of units on the date of redemption 11,935 into 50 rupees that is the redemption value or sale value of investment less security transaction tax double one nine three five into five zero fifty so it is five lakh ninety six thousand seven hundred fifty five lakh ninety six thousand seven hundred fifty into point two percentage that comes to double one nine three point five less short term capital gain tax payment it is 192.5 less investment it is an amount of 1 lakh that's it this is the way we are required to compute the income so it is 596.750 that is the sale value of investment minus 1193.5 that is STT minus 192.5 that is like the short term capital gain tax payment minus 1 lakh so it is 4 lakh 95,364 this is the income okay now, once you compute the income, then we will compute the return. And the return calculation is very simple later on. That is not something which is difficult. Return, that is of course in the annualized term that we are doing, not holding period return. It is income upon investment into 12 divided by N into 100. What is income? This is income. 495364. Investment. What is the investment? Investment is 1 lakh. Into 12 divided by N. That is time period of holding investment is 39 months. into 100 for getting answer in percentage though. This is the way annualized return can be calculated. So 495364 into 1200 upon 1 lakh upon 39. So 152.42 percentage. That is the return to the investor. So final summary of the entire answer of the dividend reinvestment plan. The first funky note is very important. That is like the number of units that investor would have on the date of redemption. That is 11,935. Second is the calculation of the simple working note of the short term capital gain tax payment. The third is the time period of holding investment. Second and third working note that you can internally change. There is no importance of the sequence. According to me, the fourth working note is most important wherein we compute the income and of course it has to be the second last working note that you have to prepare. Then as far as the return is concerned, so that we are computing on annualized term. If at all it is a holding period return, then into 12 divided by n will not come. 